Good morning, and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Chris Edwards, and I'm the UK and Ireland Sales Manager at Free FreeCam Limited. Today, the presentation will be given by Matteo Cosso, our applications engineer. And before he starts, I'd like to just give you a brief introduction to Esprit. Esprit is a full spectrum CAM system, which means that within a single software interface, we can cover two to five axis milling, two to 22 axis turning, two to five axis wire EDM, and we can do high speed simultaneous three, four and five axis toolpath generation, as well as supporting Swiss turn, mill turn and B axis multitasking machines. Next slide, please. Thank you. Within the DP technology group, we have full control over all aspects of our software development, including CAM, additive, simulation, and multi-surface machining. And you can see on this slide the various uh, companies that make up the DP technology group. We have a worldwide group of subsidiary companies, as you can see on this slide, as well as software development teams. This gives us a high level of control over the development and support of our products. In turn, this means that we do not have to rely on third party companies to develop our products. And we can therefore respond more quickly to customer requests and market trends. One example of this is the module that we will be showing you today profit turning. With the increasing price of cutting tools, and more complex machine tools, our customers want to get the highest possible productivity from their investments. So to find out how this can be achieved, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Matteo Cosso, who will take you through the features and benefits of profit turning. Matteo, it's over to you. Okay, uh, I want to start uh to explain uh, the most uh, important point about uh, profit turning profit turning is our proprietary processing that it means uh, uh, only hespri has uh, this kind of process is applicable to all our strategy for external turning internal grooving and phase we have a low heat development uh, low radial effort low execution time we reduce the total cycle time about the work machine in part low cutting effort small toolpath with rounded transition and we increase the tool life all these points increase uh, your profit now uh, we start to see a short video about the profit turning in real life on the right, you can see a, a grooving programming with the, using the raster toolpath. And on the left, uh, you can see our uh, profit turning strategy. The cycle time about the profit turning is 22 seconds. And the cycle time for the standard grooving, it, uh, it is 41 uh, seconds. So uh, we reduce the time uh, more or less uh, than a half. Okay, after this video, now I want to show you how it's possible to uh, program profit turning use Esprit. First of all, I load my 3D model and it's the same model that you see before in the video. After that, I start to create my row part and on the right, you can see that there is a, a preview in, in light preview. So I put my value and the, the preview upgrading. Okay, 60 millimeter, one millimeter on the face. After this operation, we, uh, we go in the machining view and uh, we load our fixture. So now I switch off uh, my external uh, external part of the machine because I don't need it 
and I start to load uh, my picture. For example, I load the chart, and also in this moment, I have an, a preview inside the window, so I know what I'm doing. After that, I have to load my finished part and raw part that uh, I have previously uh, loaded. Okay, now uh, we are ready uh, for uh, do the same operation that uh, as you saw in the video. Also here I can switch off and on my uh, raw part and pin. Okay, we start uh, to use the automatically recognition of, of the, future, the turning future. So I select the new cycle. This is the new cycle. And uh, the, if you can see, we have the new icon and there is uh, some options like external, internal, face, if I want to include it or exclude the group. Okay, Esther has calculated automatically the turn in future, I select, uh, we need only the last two, so we start the programming the first group using a standard, uh, standard toolpath, so I put the name about my iteration, I select my tool, here we can put the speed and, uh, and feed, after that we go to strategy, we use a roughing and finish, we put the stock allowance about Z and uh, X axis. And I change from uh, the Zag uh, toolpath. Okay, now we put the step over. And the last uh, operation is to insert the speed and feed about the finish pass. And I change the lead in and the lead out. I use uh, tangent uh, and volume. Okay, now we are ready to program the same group, but uh, using a profit permit. This is the toolpath that has to create the standard grooving. Now we use the profit permit, so the cycle is the same. It's grooving. We change only the, the parameter. And in the page strategy, in the page of we change and activate profit. Term. As you can see here, I can put all the step over and uh, automatically calculate the engagement angle, or I can put the engagement angle and uh, calculate uh, the step over. For now, I use uh, step over and uh, I put uh, 1.2 uh, millimeters. Okay, the finish pass uh, remains the same. Perfect. Now uh, I want to focus about our toolpath. I activate it on the screen. And as you can see, there is a smooth transition for eliminate any kind of force. We have the roll in and roll out radio. And at the end of the toolpath, you can see the trochoidal movement. Okay, now we are ready uh, for uh, do the simulation. The simulation is in real time, so the feed and the speed is the same like in the machine. So on the right, you can see the raster movement like in the video, and on the left, we have the same group, but with the profit term. Okay, this is the finish pass. Okay, as you can see, at the end of the toolpath, tool there is a trochoidal move. Okay. This is the finish pass. After that, we can concentrate on the uh, CNC code. So, in the exit from the simulation, I activate the CNC code. And I want to show you that uh, uh, profit turning is not uh, only the special toolpath, but we change also the feed when we are in and when we are out the part. 
for reduce every kind of uh, uh, force. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, I want to show you the cycle time. And the cycle time is the same uh, like in the video, so is uh, very uh, precise, the calculation about the cycle time in, in this. Thing. So 41 seconds for the normal grooving and 22 seconds for the uh, profit work. Okay, after that, uh, I want to change uh, a part. Uh, I use a part uh, uh, much com more complete, so we can uh, analyze external uh, turning, pacing, and internal. So we start uh, like before with automatically future turning future recognized. So we select the part, hold the part the turning axis, and we press OK. OK, this is what Esprit has calculated. Now we start with the external, uh, external turning. So we select the external profile. We use the groove cycle. The first I reset all the value, and I put a short name about my operation. After that, I go to change my tool. As you can see on the right, we have also here a, team, a preview. So if I select the wrong tool, I can see. Okay, we put our speed and feed. In strategy, I leave the finish pass and I activated the uh, profit curve. Here I use the engagement angle, and uh, I want to show you at the, in, under the screen where there is profit turning. Here we can change all the, the value about roll-in and roll-out radius, the roll-in and roll-out feed rate, and also the minimum procoiler radius. Okay, this uh, is the tool pack that is calculated. And now I go to do a remachining only the stock allowance that the previous tools couldn't be uh, machined. So I change the tool with a, a smaller radius. Okay, I change the parameter and uh, remain all the same. Only the uh, step over is different. Okay. Now I go in the tool assembly and I change only the color for the tool for uh, the simulation. Perfect, we are ready to do the simulation. Okay, I switch off the section view, perfect. As you can see, the first operation is the external roughing. After that, I estimate remachining only the part that remain about the previous tool. Recognize automatically what I've done. Perfect. Now we can, uh, I change example and uh, I do a, a, phase, a phase term. So, I select this kind of profile. I change uh, cycle. I use uh, roughing and not grooving. So profit turning is possible to use also in the turning cycle. Okay, the tool uh, is the same. Strategy. Okay, I use an extension because I want to turn also the uh, outside diameter. I zoom the tool path. Okay, this tool path uh, is, not, uh, is not good for this kind of operation. So I open my process and I change from parallel to offset. Okay, this is the tool path correct. Now I want to show you that uh, in Esprit is possible to open a process that I have saved before, maybe for another project 
So I select open project. This is all my projects that I have saved for another rest of the project. I select paste the machine. And automatically, I have my toolpath created. I do the same operation for the frontal grooving. So I select the profile. I open also here my process that I have saved. I select face group. And also here, I have my toolpath already created. Perfect. Now I can simulate only the last three operations without starting from the beginning. Okay. The first is the pacing with the external, the remachining start allowance, and the face grooving, all using profit theory. After that, I want to show you the last two examples. And there is the internal term. Okay, I change my view and I select the section view so I can see the inside of the part. I select the first, uh, the first profile and I program it like I do before. So I select my tool, I change my parameter, strategy. And don't want the finish pass here, profit turning again, and they change the engagement angle. Okay, now I, I show you that it's possible also to rename my operation here from the tree without enter again in the process, and I, can, and I can copy and paste directly from the, from the tree. So copy and paste. What I, I will change, I'll change only, of course, uh, the name. And in this kind of operation, for a better, a better cheap evacuation, I don't want the I alternate cut, but I want the one way direction. So, profit turn is possible to use also using the one way direction. Perfect. Now, I go in simulation activate the section view. Okay, this is the first uh, grooving, internal grooving, using the alternate cap. And after that, we have the last example, using the one-way curve. Okay. Okay, this was uh, the the last example, okay, face, if you want, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you, Matteo, for showing us profit. That was an excellent presentation. And I really like the way that by maintaining the constant metal removal rate, we can increase productivity whilst extending the cutter life. I also like the fact that you covered the, um, the save processes, so we can actually use previously defined processes to, um, to generate our toolpath quickly, and also the accurate time that we got for machining. And so also, um, when machining, only the, we were able to, to show that we were only taking away material that had to be removed. Um, from the stock model. And I thought, again, that was a great way in which we could save time and save our customers money. So in, in summary, profit turning comes as standard with Esprit Cam. And what that basically means is that it's not a cost option. It comes with every single module of Esprit turning that we offer. So if you'd like to uh, see more of the Esprit Cam product, and see how it can help you to improve your productivity, then please contact us today using the two contacts shown on this slide. and You can find out how a spree can be the only CAM system you will ever need, putting you on the right path. Thank you. And thank you, Matthew. Thank you.